Good morning, Secret Treasure Hunt Land. Mark Sorosiak here. Failed operation number two. And yes, there have been failures. You all know this. So there's been probably more failures than successes, clearly. There's only been three boxes found. So, you know, I, I've always looked at these as a process and got to get boots on the ground. We talked about this. It, it changes your perspective. You can only do so much. So uh, online and, and what, looking at a screen. And, and you all know who've dug this. And I put a, you know, a, a poll out there and said, hey, who's dug, who's probed, who's done nothing? Um, not nothing, but, you know, haven't actually dug or probed. So in the process of, of like, you know, seeing all these replies, I mean, there's a lot of people that have put holes in the ground. So you all know, you know, how hard it is and uh, everything that goes into it sounds easy, but it's not, believe me. Um, and so for all you two who are afraid of somebody stealing your idea and digging it, man, you can't, you can't convince anyone to come off their idea. So publish. You know, get out there and publish your idea. Nobody's going to take it. You know, this whole Boston thing, the guys with the excavator found it. And then, I don't know. I don't know the whole story there, but I, I just wouldn't worry about it. It's hard to get people to believe what you're saying, even when you present with a lot of evidence. So... In any case, you know, publish. Let's get this thing solved. All right. So failure is part of success. And in this instance, um, my failed operation two is at Roanoke. So I'm going to share my screen here. And uh, I had some helpers. So you can see my helps here, my daughters. So this was a riot. I mean, this is chalk one up for Byron. Okay. He wanted you to get out there. And boy, isn't that even more important today? when we sit behind these screens all day long and ruin our eyes. So get out there and then, and, and have fun with this thing. So, yeah, so we, you know, I'm a, I'm a single dad. So I had to negotiate some stuff to get this pulled off because the school had already started. We went to kind of a long weekend and went out and the, the weather was glorious. I've been to uh, the Carolinas a bunch. Never have I been to the Wright Brothers uh, Memorial. So this was great. It was new ground, and it was fun. The kids loved it there. Nags had, they loved it. They're just dying to go back, actually. So um, so in any case, this was a family trip, and we planned it all out. And, you know, it, the whole thing was just great, and I'll get into more details on it. But this was failure. There's no box found, and, you know, in my mind, the, the box is not, uh, at the Wright Brothers. There's a variety of reasons why it's not, and I know some of you are there. I was there, and I'm convinced, right? So this was early on for me, but here's the problem with, with Wright Brothers Memorial. It's such a huge piece of history. If Byron uh, buries it at the Wright Brothers, it overshadows the, the real story, doesn't it, on immigration? So I think just big picture, when you think about it, it's not likely to be here. Now, I think when you look at the first, he takes you immediately right back. So he starts there, right? Because he can't, he's got to like, he's got to get over, I think, to the island. But eh, I'm not sure on this one, frankly. Um, so after we, you know, after I surmised, hey, it's not not at the uh, WBM. I haven't really gone back and fully vetted this one out. So this one, I, I don't have answers for you. I'm going to give you some hints or ideas where... I think it could be, but I, I, I haven't worked this one out. So um, I, I think Roanoke Island makes sense, but in some ways it doesn't. So in any case, failed operation two. So you, know, you got to get out there, do stuff. You got to, um, you know, do what he wanted you to do. All right. So if you want to get to the wrong spot, <laughs> make assumptions about where the box is buried. So I think there was, there was absolutely some hubris here, some overconfidence imagine that i know none of us here in this community have overconfidence but in this instance i did and uh, so what had happened was when charleston worked on san fran and then flying out to charleston i was looking at saint augustine and uh, i was like hey can i pick up anything and yeah i think i think the flag there leads down into anastasia okay i still think that does i still think it's valid um so I'm like, oh, well, I'll just apply that, like a quick read on the visuals. And I think that's super dangerous, by the way. Uh, people see it all the time. They see all these uh, image matches. 
And it's like, gosh, man, there are just so many shapes in the world that can match what's in these paintings. Okay. So <clears throat> I don't recommend this, although I do think like St. Augustine is one where you can just look at the painting and what is that flag there? What is I propose this to? What in the world is that flag? Is it random? Does it mean something? What does it mean? All that. I walked through that in my videos. In any case, here it's like, well, I'm picking up all this uh, memorial imagery. So that's where it must be. And that, of course, was a trap, I think. Um, so I made an assumption around that. And so <clears throat> I fit the solve into my assumption, right? That's what we do a lot in this, do we not? You know, people have a solve and they're kind of working and it feels good. And then it's like they're trying to force everything into it rather than, and George talked about this on this video he did. And I, I apologize, I don't know the guy's name. He's a big treasure guy and has put together hunts in that. Uh, was it Tom, maybe? Um, but they're just, you know, they, watch that video. Watch that. They've, there's a lot of great um, methodology, uh, information, and, and advice. And so the idea is, you know, get really solid with one piece before you jump to the next. And you have to look at this, all these clues from every different angle, and then like pick the best one and leap from there, okay? So what people do is they kind of get onto an idea and then they just massage everything in. And I know that because I did it. So you got to throw away the biases. You got to me highlights of an area and somebody had a post out there on the boards about this. You know, yeah, like if you're in if you're in this area, okay, and you're talking about Roanoke and immigrants and the the first settlers landing and all that. Man, you can't you just you can't ignore the Wright Brothers memorial, can you? But it's not the main so is he gonna work that in somehow heck yes of course he is he'd be like absolutely nuts to not it's such a huge part of history but it's not what story he's trying to tell okay that was the problem all right they talk about this solving with your eyes and i say this to people on the board stuff yeah you're solving with your eyes stop solving with your eyes like get all this other information get the verse really tight uh, use the fair people okay there's debate on this. I'll, I will debate you on it. I will. I'll debate you on it all day long. 71%, because I counted, of the book is the fair people. And they say, oh, well, Byron didn't write those stories. Okay, but he directed these people very closely. And uh, all the pictures in there. And I just ordered a couple from Ben. I ordered Wooly Bully and Spirit of 76. I think those tell you everything you need to know about New York City for the most part. In any case, so like, yeah. Would you think he put a treasure on together, a book, and then seven, almost three quarters of it have nothing to do with where the boxes are? Come on, folks. Let's uh, step back for a second. And a lot of the reason why you guys aren't using fair people, it doesn't fit in your solve. So you exclude it. Well, those aren't needed. There's nothing in there. Come on. Okay, so it's the reason you're not using the fair people. That's, they make your solve invalid. That's why. So freaking use them okay use them there's tons of clues in there some more important than others that's why you got to read it and sift through it but solving with your eyes it's the rorschach test right so it's like hey man i look into the cloud and what do i see you know abe lincoln so perceiving objects and shapes and you guys people talk about this phenomenon it's this is a a, a more important study on human psychology than it is treasure hunting, probably. Right? <laughs> so seeing things, wanting to see things, it's amazing how our perception is reality, right? Is it not? So you, how do you make sure you're really seeing what's there? Okay, and there, I, there are ways to do that. But when you start to solve with your eyes, like I did here, all of a sudden, now, I'm in Wright Brothers Memorial, and you ain't getting me off that because I see it fit. Very dangerous. So there's a ton of uh, Wright Brothers Memorial, and I'm going to show you some of that. So the novice, the um, naive hunter will just, you know, grasp onto that and not let go. That's me. I did it. And so, you know, I had a whole trip out there. I'm digging in a place where the box is not disregarding um, direct clues and books. So clock hands, there's a clock in this one. It's kind of like off to the side though. Um, and there's other other things, the hands particularly here are pointing. And so I'm gonna show you those. 
Um, and, and I'll tell you, I, I like say, I, I don't know. I don't have a good idea. And Roanoke Island, in a way, if you follow this sort of methodology uh, of looking and interpreting the painting, at least, doesn't actually point to Roanoke. It's close. Anyway, so there's sifting uh, to do. Now, I, I love this painting. I think this is my favorite one. It is, it's so multidimensional and intertwined and like, I don't know. John is, uh, I love this guy. He is an incredible artist and his ability to mash 2D and 3D and um, real life and, and maps and like into one painting that you can kind of tell something's going on. He doesn't give it away. It's an absolute, this guy is an absolute genius. I, I'd love to meet him someday and have a beer with him. All right. So I will show you this is where we were looking around. By the way, the picture in my background, that's a picture I took. And it was just a glorious morning. And we're in the park, and there's a few people walking around. I'll probably post some videos of that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just taking these incredible, like, cool pictures. So this is uh, this picture of my girls here. This is after we, we walked up and around and went to the spot that we were going to be doing some investigative work. And... Uh, so we knew like a few things, right? Like we needed to be on the the uh, west side of the memorial because when you look north towards the wing, and then I why not take this at face value? The very last uh, verse where he's referencing the memorial, and it's close. It's not perfect. I don't know. Like everybody wants to like really take that into a deep. Me, not everybody. Man, I think he's just like orienting you, and just like in uh, New York. He's telling you, look north towards the Isle of B. I think that's orientation. That's that's what that is. Like, I don't know if I need to take it and make it any deeper than that. So here he's giving you, like, he's telling you, be on this side. Okay? I think mean, that's it. Now, what's fascinating is, again, this was this kind of our spot, and I'll show you why. Um, show you some oops, show you some other cool pictures on that. But here, the horns on the helmet. If they're not the memorial, like, I don't know what is. So this one, to me, I think is pretty safe. Um, but it's, you know, he's got this mirroring going on. But if you want to see the left side, and he's, again, it's, it would be this side over here, but this is the right side because he has it flipped. Um, it's kind of this view. But I want you to look at the view of the memorial from our place of interest and so the view, you can really see quite a bit of it. And you're, I don't know what degree that would be, like maybe 7 o'clock. This is not 7 o'clock, this angle. Plus, it almost looks elevated. And I exchanged some notes with people saying, oh, this is from the air. <sighs> yeah, that kind of does look like it's from the air, doesn't it? But I think you've got to be like, pretty far away because these are small and i really blew this up and you got to be like down here at well i think we were probably like eight o'clock not quite nine about eight o'clock this is more like seven okay so if i want to i'm looking at this like I, he's showing me this twice it's super important it's up in the middle on the guy's head gosh i think your view from the dig site has to be this angle at very the very least okay so I so look at our angle. It's not it's not there. Like you got to be further back this way. I don't know. Our angle doesn't match up. It's it's close, but it's not the angle you see. So this dig spot, as a potential, is not right. Um, I saw it as correct, but in closer inspection, I don't think it is. Do you? <laughs> no, I don't think you'd agree that this angle that we're standing at here matches. What's on the helmet? I got to match what's on the helmet. All right. So this is like how we did it. So we rented a white truck. So it kind of blends into the trucks and that. I didn't know, but made an assumption and turned out to be right. The trucks, the service trucks that go around, the sort of park ranger folks. So I had this great idea that we'd have a little picnic and we'd set up this beach tent, which, by the way, it's real sandy, close to the beach. Makes total sense, does it not? So we went and had a little picnic for several hours. 
And I will tell you, during that time, uh, I don't know, at least a half a dozen park rangers came by. No one stopped and said anything. And there was one, so in this area right here, there's a garbage can right behind us. And this hombre comes on a, uh, like a four-wheeler to pick up the garbage. And he's coming right at us. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> this is not good. And he just kind of zoomed right by us, picked up the garbage. And so, so anyway, we were able to kind of do some stuff here because the kids are there. We're having this picnic. And I've got this tent, this beach tent. Okay, so this is how we kind of got in here and snooped around, let's say. Okay, we also did go back in at night. So for the record, they will say this park closes at like six. That's to vehicle traffic. So you cannot drive cars anymore. And it costs money. We stayed like through these woods here. There's some uh, Airbnbs. There's this uh, condo. Like it's walking distance. Okay. So if you're going to go here, I highly recommend if you want to be close to Memorial, you can walk right in. So this park's open 24 7 to foot traffic and bikes. So people are here walking, biking. It's not closed. And by the way, like, let's say when it gets dark at 9 or 10 at night, there's nobody in here. So it's quiet and there's tons of stars and, and it's super dark. Like there was no moon out. So it was it was really cool. I mean, we were traipsing through the woods with stuff. And, uh, you know, the girls were a little freaked out. But it was fun. I mean, it was like real a caper, right? It was a real caper. And then we, like, during the day, we, like, left markers through the woods so, you know, we wouldn't get scared and get lost. And we did get lost a couple times even. Um, so, in any case, this this is how we went in here for you all to know. Maybe this helps at some point, but having them here as a distraction was great because daddy's doing work and the kids are playing and no one's watching daddy behind the tent. They're watching the kids have fun. So this is how we did it. It was great. All right, let's look at the painting. Uh, you know, I've looked at this a bunch, and um, I need to look at it even more. I, there's there's references here clearly to the memorial. See, now I thought this was a memorial up here, and the gem was over here. So this orientation towards uh, the foresty area. Kind of, it really fits where we were at. So we we're just like west, um, southwest of the memorial. Uh, turned out to be wrong. It's completely wrong. Don't go there. Um, so you got this, you know, Wright Brothers uh, imagery. But look at the hands and look at the clock. Okay, I'm gonna point those out here real quickly. Um, and I do think like this is probably the uh, airfields that very much looks like a key, the diagonal airfield at Wright Brothers. But I, I have not sorted this out. Um, I think some of this is is clearly uh, Elizabethan Gardens, like this. Anyway, um, I will look come back and try to get a real read on this. But look at the fingers, okay? Look at the fingers. It's actually pointing to this gem right here, and I'm gonna zoom in on it because I think I think some people are missing this. But gosh, if I follow that index finger, it doesn't hit. It doesn't hit the map. It's kind of like Charleston. Like we see it, I don't know, folks. I, I mean, I if I had venture guess, yeah, I think it's in the Elizabethan Gardens or nearby there. But uh, this finger ain't pointing to the island, okay? So if I'm on the island, I don't know. It is pointing seemingly right to what looks like the garnet, the gem. Now, when zoom in on this thing, I'm gonna show you that next. It's not just a, a gem sitting there in this belt. Okay, clock hands at one o'clock. I don't think it's the uh, the big hand. I think it's small hand, but it's pointing like over here. Okay, follow that up. Now, some of the images, they cut off uh, the sides, which I think is very dangerous. I was looking at that, and then somebody posted the real one here. I'm like, holy crap, I've been missing this whole piece, this whole side. Like, that's super important. Okay, so whatever there's, you know, some objects here, it looks like it's kind of right next to this object, whatever that is. And there's something up here too. 
But this one hand, if you follow it, it's kind of like pointing off the map or off the painting as well. But then look over here. Look at this induction. I, this, this is clearly like he's pointing off the map. So like if this is the Wright Brothers Memorial, he's telling you be southwest with this on the map. I don't know what to tell you. He's not pointing anything inside here. Um, yeah, these ones tucked under maybe. But the index, man, he's clearly telling you, like, go this way. Is he not? So, if, if I don't know. And this one needs to be sorted out more. But if, if these hands must mean something. They must. He's pointing somewhere. So where is he pointing? You got to figure that out. Okay. So let's zoom in on the uh, on this jet. So I try to blow this up as much as I can. And as, you know, I realized I was wrong. Um. Uh, I started really looking at this gem. And so get yourself one of these. Get a magnifying glass. I mean, oh, so you're looking too microscopically at that. Yeah, man. Like, I want to know all the hints that John put in these paintings. G good or bad, small, big, I don't care. If he put it in there, I want to know about it because I think it helps solve. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't. But I want to know everything. There's a thousand things in this painting that can help me. I want to know it. Zoom in on this thing. This is represents something. And if you notice, it's actually inlaid. It's not um, raised. This, this, what he's showing looks like the gem. It's inlaid, and there's these two horns, right? Or not horns, but like kind of like triangle shapes. I haven't figured out what this is. I don't know. Maybe somebody can now. But zoom in on this thing. And it's again, it's a little grainy here. Um, the, what you're best to do is to get a, a really, you know, high resolution screen, look at that, and then use your magnifying glass rather than blow it up digitally like this because then you lose the detail. Um, but this thing is inlaid, whatever he's showing us here, with these two triangles. So, hey, God bless you. If you can figure this out, let me know. Um, count me in as part of the team if you would. You know, this... Um, it's not my solve right now or is it my solve idea. I, I really don't have a good one. Um, so anyway, these are, to finish out, these are some of the pictures, you know, when we were on our walk. And then, yeah, this was just fun, super fun. And there's nobody there. It's like fall, the beginning of fall. Here we are. Um, and then my uh, daughter here, she pointed out in July and August, she saw this uh, inside the visitor center. Like, wow, cool. So it's just one of those things like, yeah, the kids had a riot. You know, it was fun. So anyway, so that's failed operation. You know, don't solve with your eyes. Get certainty on those clues. Examine them and then jump to the next. I think that's a huge part of this one. So I will circle back on this and maybe something in here will help you not have a failed operation. All right, take care.